Hey guys, I'm Faris Gaskin, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to add and use cookies in your Laravel project. Cookies play an important role while dealing a user's session on a web application. So in this tutorial, you'll learn about working with cookies in Laravel-based web applications. So cookies can be created by Global Cookie Helper on Laravel. Yeah project so I'm using my current project Lara blocks right so I'll create a new controller PHP artist on make controller and we'll call it cookie controller my cookie here cookie right we'll add a few dependencies so we have the request and we'll add a response and also App request in our class we'll add two new functions one to set the cookie and another to get the cookie so we'll create a public function called set cookie and we'll send a request as the parameter right and another one called get cookie same as above the request as parameter So to set the cookie, first we'll define how long the cookie should be, one minute only, and the response equals new response, so I'll type something as simple as hello world. and we'll point our object with cookie so cookie so I'm gonna add my name here and the lifetime of my cookie so it's just a minute and we'll return response and as for get cookie we'll define a new object value so request point it to cookie and we will retrieve the object called name that we created earlier if we don't then any value will be retrieved so save that so as with all controllers we're going to define it in our file 
web.php so we'll register a new route two new routes one is to set and another is to get so we'll start with route get and we'll define the route as cookie oh, sorry set cookie controller so make sure the name is the same with your file so set cookie and another line to get our cookie so change set to get and set to get right so nothing to it let's go to our terminal and run our server okay well, as you can see, I'm not currently connected to the internet. Localhost 8000. Yeah, Laravel. So we'll go to our first route cookie set. Oops. Okay, so I missed something over here. So it says return response. Ah, okay. So I missed a semicolon over here. Save that. Did I save this one? Yes, I did. Okay, so let's try it again. Cookie set. Okay, something happened. So let's go to Safari preferences and uh, privacy, manage website data so it's gonna take a while well I've been waiting a while and I suppose you really need to be online to see the cookies on Safari well I guess you could try using other browsers and perhaps you'd have better luck than mine so let's proceed with the second function, which is cookie get. Okay, let's try that again. Cookie set and cookie get. Right, okay, so I've set the expiry time to one minute and I suppose since waiting for the website data to appear took too long and perhaps it took more than a minute so my cookie was terminated and uh, just now we set and we get the whole thing within a couple of seconds and here we are this is what we have set for our cookie Okay, so that's it for now. If you like this video, don't forget to click the subscribe button and see you guys later in my next tutorials. Thanks for watching.